Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in today's video we're going to talk about changing variables value in array. Okay, almost as always let's start with the background story. There was a guy who asked on the Stack Overflow about the topic of this video. And to make the whole thing clean for you, let's go to the code he presented there. The code looks like that. He declared four elements, three logic variables, var1, var2 and var3, and the array. So. Maybe let's also step into the code to make the situation clean. Um, after declarations, he created an array using those three logic variables for one, one, two, one, three. As you can see for now, the array is empty. And then he created this array using those variables and we can see that this variable has three elements. Then he printed out the uh, array variables, array elements. So it's false, false, and the last one is false. And after that, he wanted to assign the true value for each element. So he used another loop to assign the true value into each element and you can see that here that the values of the elements are changing from false to true the first one is is done the second one true and the last one true and after that he checked the values of his logic variables and realize that those variables are having still a false value and he asked why luckily mm, this is the simple question because doing like that creating the array like that uh, so here using those variables to create this array he didn't set any reference to those variables even though it is it looks like he put inside of this array the first variable the first logic variable the second and the third logic variable inside of this array they are not there for real let's let's call it like that doing like like that you're only taking the values of those variables, not the whole variables. There is no reference to those logic variables. Inside of this array, there are only variables values, not the whole variables. That's why assigning the true value into each element of this array it's not impacting on those variables itself. This loop is just changing the elements of the array and the logic variables stays the same. Different story is with objects. When you're setting the, the object to the, so, so you're using this word set, you're, you're setting the reference to the another object. So for example, if it's like this, to the, let's write it like that just to make a general image of that. So in this case, when you're setting the reference, so you're setting the object. So X is the object and this is the object. So when we're changing this, we're also impacting on this variable. But it's another story. It's about objects. In our case, there is no object, it's just an array and three logic variables. And doing like this, so even though it looks like 
you're putting the whole variables inside of this array you're not doing this you're not setting the reference you're just only taking the values of those variables and putting inside of this array that's why assigning the true value into the each array element is not changing the logic variables it's, it's it was a really i think really easy topic but i decided to make a video about that because i um, remember uh, first of all how i was excited when my answer uh, was set as correct for this question and also this i decided to make a video about it because of the amount of votes which this question on the stack overflow got and the amount of votes for my answer it was about six six votes and for my answer and about seven for the question so I thought that it is not that simple as it could be probably because of that line it looks like you're putting the whole variable into this array but you're only taking the value of this variables and putting inside of this array so I hope it was useful for you I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed the video um, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot really really a lot mm, for the more content like that I invite you to my website simple excel vba.com where I'm doing this articles also visit my Facebook profile Pinterest profile also leave comments in the comments section what you like what you did not like in my videos and if you got any idea for the next article or next video also leave the comment um, I really appreciate any feedback and once again thank you and see you in the next video